Hey now YouTube, Joey brings it back again. Cali coming at you from the West Coast, the best coast. Another sunny afternoon, a great day, a great day to be alive, guys. I hope this video finds you well, safe and healthy, being able to spend time with the fam. I hope you guys all had a great Memorial Day weekend, 2020. Hey man, I'm back at it, talking cards. Showing cards the way we all love to do here on our channel, guys. Showing some cards here that I'm going to be selling on my eBay account. Really cool autographs. The way I love to collect. But as I've been saying lately, you know, I got to trim down the collection, guys. You know, I can't collect everything. I can't collect every card from every player. It's an impossibility so i gotta take some you know some profits off the table i gotta get my collection lean and mean and you know i need to get some cash flow going so i can continue to fund the hobby and continue buying cards that you know that fit into my pc today making better decisions i think more informed decisions and as the time goes by my collection just gets finer and there's no other way to say it man leaner and meaner i love it so let's see what i sold this week guys here we go card that i sold this week check this out really cool card 1950 callahan hall of fame candy cummings these are really really cool 1950 man that's an old card not only really cool they're very very affordable in my opinion what makes these cards cool other than the affordability i love the size i love mini style cards i love the tobacco cards i love the new modern mini cards i love it man this card fits right in you know i decided way back in the day hey i want to get this set going it seems affordable it seems that i can do it but i didn't last more than a year maybe i got 20 cards and i just it just ran out of steam for me and i know you guys can feel me i'm sure this has happened to a collector or two that watches my videos it happens to all of us um I decided, you know, I'm not going to complete it. So I got a 15, 20 cards of these that I'm just going to have to get moving. Um, this is the first one that sold. Let's see what the numbers say. So this card purchased November 2015 for $9.00. And I just sold it $20.50 plus shipping on top for an $11.49 profit. Not too shabby. Really, really happy with that. 127% return on investment. Woo. But that really is a sharp, sharp card. It's a great set. If you guys are looking to get Hall of Famers, but you want vintage Hall of Famers, look into this set, man. Um, this is a type of set where either you love it or you hate it. But it's a great set, man. I'm telling you, I love the size. That's what I love about the And the player selection is out of this world. All the greats of all time are in this. Check it out. Callahan, 1950 Hall of Fame. So that's the first card I sold. Let's see what else I sold this week. Oh, yeah. The set I grew up with. None other than the 1971, excuse me, 79 Tops set. I was 10 years old in 1979. Johnny Bench was a legend at this time. Check that out. With the autograph, it doesn't get any sweeter than that. Johnny Bench, Jim Mint, 10 quality autograph. With that NL All-Star label right there. I love it. That emblem is so cool. Whoever got this card, man, is getting an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous card. I think I said it in a video or two back. Since this is a set that I started collecting when I was a kid, buying packs for a quarter, this was the year, 1979 Tops. You know, and you guys know me, I love to collect autographs. I thought to myself, I'm going to collect this set, the whole damn set, 
in autograph form. But, you know, I got, again, 25, 30 cards into it. And I started noticing, at the same time I was collecting the, you know, I started to collect other sets. And I started noticing that, why is it that 1979 cards cost the same as a, the example I love to use as a 1958 Topps card, autograph? It doesn't make any sense. So I, you know, I had, even though I love this set, I had to make the decision that I can't, if I'm going to put my money, my hard earned money into baseball cards, I need to put them in where they're going to hold the most value and get, and if there's going to be a profit, there's never going to be a loss ever. If there's going to be a profit, I'm going to try to maximize it, but let's see what the numbers look like guys. So this one I got February, 2017. $24.99 and I just sold it $39.99 plus shipping on top $15 profit very very nice very nice a 60% return on investment man it doesn't get any better than that I really really hate to see this card go what do you think about that Michael Shane wow great looking bench autograph and, you know, I buy my cards for a reason. Every card that I buy, I love it. It's a great looking card. But I just have to use my brain and not my heart. I'm not collecting this set. I have other bench autographs. I got to let this one go, guys. What else did I sell? A couple cards more. Oh, yeah. The 1979 Tops. The Goose. Hall of Fame legend. Check this one out. With the autograph. Again, a nice card. This was in the same set, the same circumstance as the bench. Let's see what the numbers look like. This one I bought back in the day, 2018 for five bucks. Just sold it for $7.99, a $2.99 profit. This is small ball, but little by little, 58% return on investment. Little by little, man, just getting the money back, gaining a little bit of profit. This one was uh, undervalued because there's, there's a crease somewhere. Let's see where is it? There it is, right? You can maybe see it right where the Yankees is, right there in the bottom. A little bit of crease, and I mentioned that in the in the listing, so the buyer could make an informed decision. But if you're looking to collect Yankees autographs and are going to stick these in a binder, man, it doesn't get any sweeter than that. Seven ninety nine, win win. So I sold those cards. Last card I'm going to show you guys that I sold this week. Check this out. I just showed these on another video recently. The true Tony Dorsett rookie. We're talking the 1977 to 79 sportscaster cards when he was on Pitt Heisman Trophy, NCAA all-time leading rusher at that point with the ballpoint autograph, old school autograph Tony Dorsett with the PSA certificate. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, guys. It doesn't get any sweeter than that. Um, again, trying to give the reasonings of why did I sell this card. A lot of you guys know that I collect TD33, Tony Dorsett, my favorite running back of all time. Man, to run the ball like Tony D while the Dallas Cowgirls cheer for me. Why am I selling it? Because I already have two other examples of this card. Check this out. I have the unopened pack of the sports casters. Check that out, man. Sealed, unopened pack. The way it shipped back in the day. I love it, man. You know, I don't know if this has any value, but it has value to me. So I'm going to keep this in the collection. A sealed pack of Sportscaster with TD right on the front, man. Gorgeous looking. Look at him in the pit uniform. A pit legend, no doubt. Awesome. So I'm, that one's staying in the PC. And of course, the reason I'm letting that one go, I just sold it because I have this one, guys. Ooh. PSA DNA Red Flip Lighthouse Holder. The door set with the gem mint tan quality autograph. Perfection. 76 Heisman inscription. I'm going to get this for eight bucks. Uh, reholdered or actually relabeled so it doesn't say trading card. Um, actually, you know what? It's going to be 10 bucks. Um, 
because I love it when a card actually gets a description. You know, I don't like it when it says trading card. I want to get 77 to 79 Sportscaster, Tony Dorsett. Gorgeous, gorgeous. To me, it's going to be worth the 10 bucks. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. So I'm selling that card. No, I'm selling this card. I just sold it. No worries, because I still have the other ones in my PC. You know, just giving a little background, a little, why did I sell a card? And I want to have this documented, man. I want to go back and remember, you know, in 10 years, I think it'll be pretty fun for me to go back and check out these videos. Hey, man, the way I love to collect, guys, showing you my cards, whether I'm selling them, whether I'm adding to the PC, whether we're just talking, you know, about cards in general. What do you guys think about the pricing on the cards that I've been selling? Do you think they're fairly, they're getting sold at a fair price? You think the price is a little high? What about in comparison to the modern cards? Um, hey man, leave me a comment down below. What do you think? I'm gonna keep showing more cards as they sell. A few cards here, a few cards there. Trimming the fat off my collection, guys. Man, I really, really hate to see this one go. Woo! That Johnny Bench. I'm okay with that door set going because I still have this one. The way I love to collect, guys, is Joey brings it. We're talking cards. West Coast! And everybody be good. Big love. Let's talk about it, guys. Keep showing our stuff. Let's inform each other about the hobby. I love it, man. Peace!